Hi everyone, my name is Masango and welcome to this new Substance Designer 5 tutorial. Um, today we are going to try to make something new, which is to make a baker inside uh, Substance Designer, but not a baker like uh, the, the classic one that we have when we click on an object, for example. Uh, here, bake model information, but just um, this is actually it's really making a graph that will become a, a node that you can use to bake and to transfer te um, texture from one object to another one. So for example here um, I have this teapot with uh, new UVs and uh, if you look and these ones, these are the, the old maps that I bake with the same geometry but different UVs. So for example if you see that if I use them here it's it obviously doesn't work, same for the ambient occlusion, but if I plug them here, you wait a bit and you see it works. Um, this is realized thanks to the magic boxes here, so basically as you see it's just uh, two inputs, a pixel processor and uh, an output node of course. So let's do it now. So we're going to try in a new package here, for example. So first of all, uh, what you need to have is your two mesh. To import your two mesh, I'm going to do it now. So here I imported my old uh, UVT pot with and the new UVT pot. What we will do here, for example, we will bake some some stuff on it that will be used just to as a as a proof of concept. Let's say. So I don't need that. What I, I will do, for example, the ambient occlusion, the wall normal map, and um, um, why is it the position? We are going to take the vertical axis, which is Y. So with these three maps, we are going to bake them in uh, 248. And I think that's it. It's just, this is this is not directly useful, but it it's uh, to have something to transfer uh, when we are done. So right now we have our three maps. Perfect. And now we are going to do something which is to create uh, what we call the a UV coordinates map. So I'm just detailing, we are going to reuse it. Basically I, I took uh, a gradient linear that I switched uh, 180 degrees here and here I just switch it clockwise. <coughs> Sorry, this then I use a gradient map to tint uh, in, in uh, pure green on one axis and pure red on the other axis, and we obtain this map. Um, what I did here, what is really important here, as you see, is I am in a really high resolution, the maximum uh, 4096, and this is really important for the precision of uh, the final result. If not, you see, <laughs> we are going to have stuff like this. It's good, good that we see it now. Okay, so once I've done that, what I have did is I saved it directly here, uvmap.png, so you can do the same. Then, when you can import this map in the resource, I will link it, and it's here. Okay, now let's create a new graph that we call uh, Magic Box Tuto. Magic Box Tuto. Magic. Mm, the size is not uh, that important. We're going actually to put it relative to parent, and it's uh, it's important. Okay, so first I put an output that I will put uh, coral. It's not really import mm, that important, but uh, um, baked tr no transfer map. Transfer map like this, and you put the same label, same name, just with a space. And now what we need is two inputs. The first one will be uh, actually first. I'm going to to work with maps. 
one thing that I will do now. Mm, no, no, no. First, let's do our our graph. So two inputs we say, and they have to be in color. Both. This one would be um, the coordinates that we're going to transfer. So let's call it identifier. Um, transfer UVs. You will see in a moment what it is exactly. And here I will call it old map, which would be the map that we want to transfer. <coughs> Finally, the pixel processor. So just let me check. Well, the order is not that important. So I would put first the UVs. Mm, I don't like that, you know. So input zero will be the old map, and input one would be um, the transferred UVs. <coughs> so now let's back. Actually, what we want to do. It's, let's take a look at this map. So basically, what it is is it represents the coordinates of um, of uh, of the map. So in a Substance uh, Designer, um, the you have especially it's really important in the function, and, but in general, the coordinates are like this. It's x in this direction and y in this direction, and really zero zero is starting at the, the top left of the, of the of the texture. So in that case, that's why here the red is representing the the x-axis and the y the the other one. So what we are going to do now is uh, to say, uh, okay, let's make a bake. So let's take our old UV teapot, not our new UV teapot, sorry, and let's bake something. We don't need that, but what we want to do is to bake a transfer texture from mesh and the texture will be actually this UV map here so basically and the mesh here will be actually the old teapot this one and what it means is that actually it's as if you put like the this map this uh, UV map in um, as a diffuse and so when we transfer it you will see what it gives and we want to make it very quite big yeah I make this really big because we want to avoid to uh, to to have some um, artifacts like we can see here so it's really important to to take the maximum size okay so now we have this map so what we have done here is say okay this point for example if we take the black point here it says okay this point here uh, is really close um, to we can imagine that compared to this map it means it was there on this map so basically right now we have the information where all the the points were if on the previous UVs and that's what we are going to use to to make the tra the transfer uh, if you understand that that's the the most complicated part of, of the of the tutorial is just to understand that these colors are coordinates and what it says is if we have red hair pure red and almost no white it means that it's it was a point around there um, on the previous UVs so now what we, that we know that, what we can do is we are going to put this as an input here and we are going to put for example one of the bake, baking that we are, have done before and of course nothing happened because we haven't done anything in the pixel processor so let's go inside uh, first I'm going to raise up a, a bit the size let's see what size do we have now? 124, yeah, to start. Okay, quite good. It will be better at the end, but to to make to work, it will be faster. So we are going to delete this node first, and what we are going to do 
is for us to take a variable which is get float two to get the position of the map here, and um, so and we are going to make a first sampler which is a sampler sample color, and here if I'm not wrong, so here we have the position and we want to actually look at this um, this map first. I think it's number one if I'm not wrong. So what we do is for each pixel we look at the color here and from that we are going to create a, um, a new coordinate. So we need two swizzle flow to separate x and y. So another one a vector swizzle I'm going to put it here. Uh, what does Weasel uh, do is to take a vector, for example, with uh, here there is. Uh, here we have two a vector two because there is uh, the, the x and y. Here we have a vector four, and the Weasel is taking one of these channels and separating simply. Simply. So here, for example, I want to have x, which is the red color and Y here, which is the green color. And from that, know that we have here, this red and, and green color are actually values as well for us. So what we are going to do is just to create a vector float 2. We are going to plug these two. So to summarize, we grab the position of each pixel one by one. For each pixel we look at the color that is in the input one which is this image and then we say okay right now look at uh, uh, take the x and separate, convert this color on x y axis and we have a new I suppose but which correspond to this color. So right now what we're going to do is to sample again a color like that but in that case we are going to take the this image, the zero uh, input image zero I'm going to check, yes, which is this one. So if we go back, now once again we took the color we look at the, the color in the UV coordinates map, so you say okay generate a new vector from that and uh, and with this vector, grab the color in uh, in the other map that we want to, to project. And basically, that's it. So you see, it's extremely simple. So the the most it used like one, two, three, four, five, six nodes. You put this one as output node, and we go back here. And if we double click here, we have our map. So let's say if I do view in 3D view, here we go. You see it was super fast. Um, of course you see there is some artifacts it's uh, because it's heavily dependent of the resolution that we are going to use. So now what I'm going to do is to put that back to zero so of course it will look worse it's, but it's because the idea is not to use this uh, here but to use it in a other graph. So for example right now um, let's clean a bit Okay, and see, uh, that. Okay, so I'm here. I'm going. What is this graph? Not this one. We want to. Let's create a new graph, which is like an empty one. Okay. So right now, what we want to do is to say, okay, the first output. Let's output a diffuse, for example. And let's say, okay, you know what? We want to have that here. And now. Let's go to our resource and we have our all maps which are this free one. Let me let's make a frame like that to clean. So old maps to transfer. Like that. Wonderful. And right now we also want to use our transfer duties which are here. Hmm. What did I Weird. 
Okay, no, because I, I didn't trans I transform the output. So let's remove that. And let's look here. Okay, in the new tip of resource. Okay, here is our map, which is extremely big, but we are going to keep it this way. And finally, right now, what we want to do is we want to transfer our new graph to create a graph instance, or which is a node basically, of our graph. And then let's look at what we can at what we have. So here, of course, it doesn't work. As if you do it directly, you see that the UVs are not good. But right now, let's plug our UV coordinates at the transfer UVs. And let's plug our map here. Let's wait a bit. If you double click, you see that it has been calculated. Maybe I will have to increase the size. Let's see. And now, it's good directly. So you see that we have transferred, and as I say, it's really important at the beginning when you do the the, the baking of the UVs to have a high quality UV coordinates map. If not, uh, when you do the, the sampling of the pixel, um, it won't have enough enough resolution, and you, and you will have big artifacts. Uh, if you have seen my uh, my previous video, you may have seen that the quality was a bit weird. And uh, so I, I checked this morning to, to find where it could come from, and actually it was that. It was the previous maps. But the good thing right now is you see, like in uh, really fastly, you can transfer UVs like that. Of course, here it put, uh, I will put this in color. This bitmap would be easier. Here we go. So you see, and you see there may be few artifacts, but once again, if I actually um, increase the size for example putting something like let's put the maximum it will be a bit longer of course but you see there is less artifact so it's not as accurate as a, as a real baker of course but it could be very useful for example if you uh, want to use it um, if you want to make a bake really fastly and just for for the sake of using a uh, pixel processor it's quite cool so as I say you just have right now to bake and actually you know what was is maybe this one for example you see it seems to the size seems to be locked mm, yeah so I have to check Yes, because it was relative to input. Let's put it relative to parents. And the result will be better. Mm. Okay, so that was it. As you see, it was really fast. Uh, so once again, uh, three steps. Uh, first is to create to u create this UV map, uh, then to bake this UV map, and uh, don't for forget about using a high resolution, and then create this graph, which is with the transfer UVs and one of the map to transfer in, as input. And once again, just to make sure we got it, you use a get post to get the position of each pixel one by one. You use you then use the the color use you grab the color of the UV coordinates. From that, you use this color to create a new vector uh, of coordinates and then with that you, you use this vector to grab the color in the map to project. So I hope it's clear. As you see it's not that hard and uh, at least it doesn't take a lot of time to do. Uh, if you have any questions of course don't hesitate to add them in the comments and uh, don't hesitate to reach out that if you like this tutorial. Thanks again and have a great day.